Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Uruguay against France. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Drury, and hello to everyone. Players stand shoulder to shoulder in singing the national blues. national anthem. Have a look at them now. You've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? It's got to be Edinson Cavani, a striker who has about as complete a skill set as you'll see, big and imposing, but also possesses a technical subtlety that allows him to score many types of goals. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Into that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. I just really like the way they've started with such intensity, Peter. Caceres knocks it towards the front. Can he find a finish now? And Titi tries to get it forward quickly. Griezmann with the ball through. Diving header! Goal! France! And France are in front! Spectacular header. He really flung himself at that. You know, it takes a lot of courage to do that, to throw yourself at the ball knowing you could catch a boot in the head. Well done, son. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Conte, great challenge. He's off on a marauding run. This could fall anywhere. Luis Suarez. Passes it through. Good ball. He's done very well to get to that. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Now it's Cavani. Looks like a good ball through. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Well, when the keeper lost control of that, usually a striker would, would react first, so that defender deserves praise. Aimed long and direct. Giroud looks to thread it through. Has it out wide now. They've managed to get it away. Godin. 
And it's Cavani. Now the pass. Chance! Pretty robust, but the referee says no foul. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Shoots! And the ball's come out! Up to meet it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Well, one moment there, there was a little bit of space, Peter. They could have worked. Gets up to head it! No mistake! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud, because they dug in deep then, and they've got their leveller. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow... The referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So we reached the halfway point. Well, we've watched a, an end-to-end -end game with lots of... It's exciting and entertaining and uh, I'm going to enjoy my half-time cup of tea on the back of that. They come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. Well played, he saw that coming. Jimenez plays it out to the flank. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Tries a through ball. Pogba with the ball through. That'll be a throw-in. out once more hit into the middle yeah that does look a foul referees Jimenez still going where to next that really should have hit the net well it was fun. that high calibre Cavani, well positioned to make that interception. Now it's Cavani. Goes long and forward. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. And it's Pogba. Pogba. Giroud. Hits one! Great ball. Look clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. He's there to get rid. Hits one! Oh, great save. Real class. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. Godin. Looks to slip it through. Griezmann. Hits it! And that's offside, yes it is. Touch and go, aren't they supposed to get the benefit? towards the front line Giroud oh, given offside once more well for someone to retain that amount of running power at this stage of the game is very impressive it's tremendous energy Griezmann lofted into the middle Uruguay have plenty in the middle is that a foul? yes the uh, referee's given it Giroud. Now the pass. Pumps it into the area. And back out it comes. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. This is promising. There will be four extra minutes. Togba passes it through. Can he finish? Good stop. Wasn't he? He's razor sharp. <laughs> Fires from distance. There's the whistle. 
whistle and it is going to penalties. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. So we head for the final act. Real tension here then as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. Ah, it's a tame penalty, straight at the keeper. Well, he's put that straight at the keeper, it's simply not good enough. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. So, this one to restore parity. Oh, what a save! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. France have the chance to pull away here. And that doubles their lead. Uruguay trailing by two now. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. France with the chance to go two up. Keeper, no chance. And they're two up. So it's down to him to keep it alive. And that has lifted the roof. France taken all the way. They found the way from the spot and they have won it. A win in the most thrilling fashion. Well, it's been such a long match and the penalty shoot.